Curtain fans, I'm going to keep my mask on today because we are in my office for this episode of the Jocelyn Variety Show. Um, I told y'all yesterday that we were going to learn how to use Zoom today. So I've got Ellen here. She's going to help me out, but don't worry. She's six feet away. You'll see her in a minute, but we're going to use my computer. I'm going to show you how to open a Zoom account, how to start a meeting, how to join a meeting. So hopefully after this, you will be comfortable at least exploring Zoom on your own. It is a really great tool, especially because so much is moving to video conferencing. I know that here at the Jocelyn, we have our Zoom chat group on Thursday mornings. Um, there are a lot of uh, doctors and medical professionals who are doing health seminars on Zoom. Over in the wellness center, we can do counseling and problem solving strategies through Zoom. So there's a lot of great benefits to be able to use it. Not to mention, you can chat with your family and friends. And I know that people are starting to get more used to going out and seeing people in their lives, but because there's a lot lot of you out there who have underlying health conditions or are still concerned about being out in public, I want to make sure that you have the tools to connect to your kids or to your buddies whenever you want. So let's start from the very, very beginning. I'm going to show you how to access the Zoom webpage and then how to create an account. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see my computer and I'm going to tilt you down just a touch. Okay, so I know that's not perfect, but hopefully this will give you an idea. Up here in the search bar, we are going to go to zoom.us. It's z-o-o-m.us. That is going to take us right here to the Zoom webpage. So I know that there's a lot on this front page and that can look a little intimidating, but don't worry, the only thing that we need is to sign out of the account that I'm already in. There we go, is to hit this button right here. So if you go to zoom.us up here in the corner, you wanna hit this big orange button that says sign up, it's free. So we are going to tell them our date of birth. I'm not gonna tell them my actual date of birth because they don't need to know that and you guys don't either. So let's just say I was born in, oh, maybe not 1903. But let's go with 61. So we're gonna say continue. I'm giving them a email address. I'm gonna do, I already have a Zoom account associated with my work email address. So I'm going to do um, an account that I just created for your guys' benefit. It is Rebecca at the Jocelyn at live.com. So we're gonna hit sign up. It says we've sent an email to Rebecca at the Jocelyn at live.com. So I'm going to pop over to my email. This may take a second to come through, but once it does, we will be able to start our account. Um, I hope I told it the right email because I just opened this one. Mm, you know what? Let's try a different one. Hold on. Do, 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 do. So let's tell it at outlook.com. I think that that's my new address. So I'm just proofreading. There are two T's there at the Jocelyn. Okay, let's try skim. So we're going to open this over here. There it is. So Zoom says, please activate your account. So when you go into your email, you'll get an email from Zoom. It's going to have a big blue button right down here that says activate account. We're going to hit activate and it wants to know if I'm signing up on behalf of a school and I'm going to tell it no because this is per personal slash professional use. Continue and then it says welcome to Zoom. So I'm going to put in my personal information here. I am Rebecca. I'm going to give it an easy to remember password. They've got password requirements on there, so make sure you watch those. There we go. And then it's hard to see, but at the very bottom here, there is an orange button that says continue. It's gonna ask me to save a password. I'm gonna tell it no, because I don't need that. It wants you to invite people to Zoom with you, um, but you can skip it. See down here in the corner, it has this little button. If you want to invite people to use Zoom, you can put their email addresses here, but we are going to skip that step. So then it says we can start a test meeting. So we're going to start a meeting now to test our Zoom. Um, up here, you're gonna see a dialog box. It's gonna ask you if you want to open the Zoom application and you do need to tell it yes. So I know it's a little scary to click on pop-ups because we've always 
been told and told each other not to click pop-ups, but this one's okay to click. So do open Zoom, and it is going to bring up this box right here. So when the meeting starts, you can tell it you want to join with computer audio, or you can test your speaker and microphone. And we're going to skip that part today, but if you're not sure if your speaker and microphone are working, use this test option here because that will give you the option to figure out if you have any issues before you even start your meeting. So we're going to say join with computer audio. And this is Zoom's test feature to, um, to help you get used to the meeting. We are going to invite somebody because Ellen is here with us today. So if you click invite others, you get a little pop-up box here that says you can use your email accounts to automatically send them an email invite, but we're gonna copy the invite link because that is the simplest way to invite somebody to video chat with you. So if I hit copy invite link, then it automatically copies it to my clipboard. I'm gonna pop up here to my email and we are going to go to a draft email that I already started for Ellen because I knew we were doing this today. So I'm sending Ellen an email and all I'm going to do is paste that link right here in this email to her. And then we are going to hit send. Um, so it wants me to do something because it's the first time I've used this email. Oh geez. All right. I think I passed their test. Okay, so let's go over to Zoom. Ellen says she got the email, so we're gonna pull this up and go over and see what it looks like on her end. So if you get an invite from somebody asking you to join a meeting. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> this is what it'll look like. So she got an email from Rebecca Ruffing, inviting her to a Zoom meeting. And there's a hyperlink right there in the email. All she has to do is click on it. Super simple. She gets that same dialog box that I did that says it wants you to open the Zoom application. So we'll do that. And then it says, please wait, the host will let you in soon, which means that is my cue to come back over and let her in. So this says, Ellen has entered the waiting room. So I'm gonna go ahead and admit her. And, oh. <laughs> And we're going to start my video so you can see me. Hi, me. And then there's Ellen. Hi, Ellen. So once you are in the little, here, I'm gonna squish this a little bit so it's easier to maneuver. Oy. Once you're in here, you can start and stop your video, which is down here in the corner. So if I click this, it will turn off my video so Ellen can't see me anymore, but she can still hear me. If I want her to be able to see me but not hear me, I can click this little mute button down here and it will mute me. So now she can't hear me, only you guys can hear me. So that is a quick and dirty invite to how to use Zoom and how to make Zoom work. Um, if you guys have any Zoom questions, please feel free to let me know. I'm happy to walk you through it. We can do it together. Um, I know it's intimidating to use something new and it, can be a learning process and there could be a learning curve but that's okay because you've got helpers here and um and i'm happy to do that with you if you want to start just a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me or if you want me to walk you through it over the phone we can definitely do that but hopefully this video helps you um i'm going to show you really quickly how to start a meeting once you uh, when you're not in a um test mode because that's what we're in right now so i'm going to end this meeting for ellen really quickly we are going to come back to Zoom. So when you're on the main screen in Zoom, once you've already, you already have logged in, you're gonna see a button up here in the corner that says join a meeting, host a meeting, or my account. Join a meeting would be if you were Ellen and had an invite to a meeting, you could click that. If you wanna start a meeting, you're gonna say host a meeting, decide how you want the video, open Zoom, and then it will pop up a little box, ask you if you want to join with audio. You can tell it yes or no. 
and then you started a new meeting. If you come down here at the very bottom to participants, you'll see I'm in the meeting, but nobody else is. If I hit invite right here, it'll bring up this box, and this is where we copy that link that you can send over to any of your friends or family that you wanna do the meeting with you. Sometimes there's a meeting password. You'll see that over here in the corner. I know it's a little hard from where you're at. Um, you can use the password to invite people to the meeting. They'll need the meeting ID and password, but the easiest way is to use this invite link right here on the side. Then they don't have to worry about all the extra putting in information. Um, okay, so I hope that helped you guys. We are here for you. Let me show you one last thing before I let you go off to your weekends, and that is the Jocelyn Center webpage. So I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this before, but here on our Jocelyn Center webpage, that is up here, jocelyncenter.org. If you guys go to our homepage, you're gonna see this big message right here that explains that we're currently closed, but we have all these other things to offer. There's gonna be a little note to visit our COVID page. If you click on this, it'll take you to a page with a ton of great resources. So we have um, different sites that have medical advice or uh, there's a COVID hotline here, emergency food assistance, grocery stores that have shopping hours. Uh, we have some agencies that are providing assistance, be it for utility bills or emergency cash relief or homelessness prevention. We have business partners that are providing help during this time, a warning about certain scams that we have seen out and about, um, and then some additional resources like food bank, uh, 211, which is a great number for Riverside County, and then some really fun games that you can play at home if you are bored. So please make use of our website. We have a ton of great stuff there for you. If you have any questions about how to find resources during this time, or if you're looking for any kind of help for food or housing, um, maybe you'll be able to find answers on our website. And if you can't, just give us a call. Uh, the number is 760-340-3220. And my extension is 102. Okay, guys, it's Friday, so you'll have a great weekend. You are actually going to hang out with Paul on Monday. So he is going to host our variety show Monday at 11 o'clock. So we will see you there. Be safe. Have a good day.